Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Imani. I'm so glad to have you here. Today's look is inspired by Tiffany Jones and I feel like I delivered on this look and you're like, you can't tell me nothing. But since you guys are here and you're watching, please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share, do all the works and let your girl know how she did and if you want to see more videos like this. Well, let's go ahead and get into it. So, first off, everything will be in the description box if I don't mention it here. Um, I've been gone so long guys that I almost forgot how to use YouTube, but I'm back, I'm better, and I'm refurbished. I'm ready to really give you guys all the goods and details. What you guys just saw was I just moisturized my face with Daily Greens Pharmacy. Um, this stuff is so good, it's so lightweight, and I just figured, you know, let me try it out as a primer, and guys, look at this. Also, what I just used was the Juvia's Place Foundation Sticks. Um, I had to blend two together to get my skin tone because all the other ones that I was trying to shade match with were giving me like in-between. So I found the best two and I really like how it came out and I really feel like it gave me my skin tone back. And guys, also I have a whole new technique that I cannot wait to share with you guys. When I say bomb, baby, it's bomb. Not only am I doing my makeup, I'm also doing clients now, but guys, I can't tell me this stuff did not snatch. Um, as far as why I've been gone, I am pregnant again. If you didn't notice in my last video, I might have mentioned it. I don't remember that the video was so old, but I am nine months pregnant. I'll take you to our second son, Cameron. Ooh, your girl has been busy. I am married and trying to get back into school, but I'm kind of holding that off just a little bit because I already have a lot of my plate and I kind of just want to take everything steady and slow. This is really just me reintroducing myself to YouTube and everything that I've been doing. Um, as you can see, I have a whole new setup in the back. Like, I didn't change everything. This one is amazing. Like, I went from one room to the next because I had to turn my glam room into the boys' room. And I actually like it a lot better because I feel like the lighting is way better in here with what I have as far as my vanity, my ring light, and the camera. I feel like it captures everything that needs to be captured. Um, as far as what I'm using now, to sculpt my face back out. I am using another shade stick from Juvia's Place, but then I also went into my Black Radiance Beauty True Complexion Contour Palette to set my contour. As far as my highlight, I use the Il Maquillage Concealer. That's the F I'm Flawless Concealer. I believe I'm in the shade 13. Like I said, everything will be in the description box. I have found a new setting powder, which I've been trying to find for years, and it's the Buttercup Setting Powder. Oh my gosh. Why am I so late to the game with this? Like. Come on now, where have I been? Like, I need to do better in life. And I definitely did with this. And also, I think something else. Oh yeah, as you guys can see, normally I do my brows first in my previous videos, but I had stopped doing that um, when I started doing this new technique. And I actually like it when my brows come out now. They're less harsh. I feel like I can bend more with how I want to shape my makeup look or how I want it to come out. And like I said, guys, it's just, pure bliss and I will be sharing that soon on as far as everything that I do with that. So now guys what you see me is just carving out my cheekbones and making sure everything is snatched to me. Also I'm going to go in with the Bella Blush by Juvia's Place. If you haven't noticed by now I've been using that Juvia's Place like this stuff is legit. It's bomb. Also, what you're going to see, too, is me go off camera and complete one of my eyes just so that I already had a map or a guide of how I wanted to blend everything out. Um, oh, another thing that I have found myself doing less of is highlighter. So when you guys get to that point in the video, you're going to notice that like, I, I did a little something something on my nose like Tiffany J does, but or Tiffany Jones does, but I just, I don't really care for I like the whole airbrush look. I like the soft look. And... I feel like it gave what it needed to give in regards to that. Also, hip dot. I've been getting so many PRs, guys, since I had stopped recording that I'm literally backed up and stuff. Like, I have probably four to five or six, seven BoxyCharm boxes that I haven't even opened yet because I just haven't found the time to record. But you guys will probably see that from me soon, depending on what's in these boxes, because sometimes what's in these boxes I really don't care for. But what you just saw me show you guys was their mascara that you will see me use in the end. Um, right now I'm using the Kiss New York Professionals Top Brow Pencil. I like this because, like I said, it doesn't give me a harsh brow. I feel like it's perfect for creating that fluffy look. 
in that soft, realistic brow. Also, you can never go wrong with the LA Girl Pro Concealer. So, I do have my Tarte Cosmetics, I have my Eau Maquillage, I have my NYX, I have my Maybelline's, but nothing beats that original drugstore girl. This is what started me off concealer, LA Girl Pro Concealer. You need to get you some. Also, too, when I do my brows, I don't really care to line the top because I don't, I don't really care for the super sharp. Looks like I just got my eyebrows, you know, waxed or plucked. I like, I like what I have because I technically shape my own brows at home, but I just like, I just like how this one came out. So what I went ahead and did was set my eyelid for the eyeshadow. The eyeshadow palette that I am using is the Profusion Emeralds and the Trendy in Tokyo palette. Those are the only two that I use. I went ahead with like a, I guess like a pointy brush. I don't really know the terminology. Some of these, my brushes don't even have names on it, but I went in with a pointy brush and I carved out my wing. And then I went in with a fluffy brush, a clean fluffy brush and chose a lighter green and just blended that out together. So you can see my hair started getting on my nerves. And then on my lid, I just packed in a lighter green to pull everything together, pretty much like she did. Like her video was self-explanatory and it was, well, yeah, it was a makeup tutorial, but it was self-explanatory and it was really helpful and easy. And then I just so happened to have bought uh, jewels and stuff for not only myself, but for clients. And I had realized I had bought pearls too, so everything came out perfect. So I was able to put my curls in place like she did as well. Also what I did was I lined my waterline with a a clean color liner. These liners are actually my own from my brand Naomi Cosmetics. They are unreleased, but trust me guys, they'll be coming to you guys soon. But I went ahead and carried the same colors from the eyeshadow under my eye, like Tiffany Jones did. And then I started applying my mascara. I use a thin side for my waterline and then I use the thick side for my lashes up top. Also, the lashes that I'm using, they are the style Tiny by Rebel Axis. I am an ambassador for her, and if you guys don't see it behind me, I have a plethora of lashes, but I really love hers. Like, hers are the only one that I use. I think she gave me so many lashes. I probably have, like, 30 plus lashes from her, but I only use hers because they give me, they give me what it needs to give me, honestly. So, she's the only person that I use. Oh, honey, when I tell y'all these little girl things was getting on my dad on nerves, they was getting on my nerves. They were acting like they did not want to pay me any money, but it's okay because I got them to work and you see they're on, it's up and they're stuck, honey. Stuck. Oh, that's another good thing about this point. Everything is like right there, so I don't have to like get up and go that far to do everything. Oh, and honey, if y'all don't have mixed lip liner, y'all are lagging behind. I used the lip liner Espresso, and then I went in with my own lipstick from Naomi Cosmetics in the shade Rosé, and then I went in with the Butter Gloss Madeline to pull everything together. And then because I noticed that she does like her beauty marks, I went ahead and grabbed the NYX Epic Ink Liner and just, you know, get a little, little buff out or whatever. But look at the pigment on my lips. Like, look at that. Lipstick don't last to me. It's it's gonna put me to that. All in the pigment. Is she not doing what she's supposed to do? Like, come on and come through, sis. I don't even know this girl. And she is cute. Like, look at her. Look at her. Oh, but this is what I was talking about with the highlight. I just, you know, did a little something, something that she did. But guys, that is pretty much 
it for this video like i said this was a quick tutorial just to let you guys know that i am back and that i am better and in a whole, a whole nother place i do have different topics and girl chats coming up for you guys really really soon so stay tuned for that and if you have any questions feel free to comment below and i will drop the next video for you guys in regards to what you want to see next so thank you for tuning in with your girl missy 90 see you later